Good morning, everybody, on this Monday morning, the 30th of March, 2020, day number four of the lockdown. And while there is so much focus on the lockdown, which is also important, we need to also remember that we are in a time of Lent. And so we need to also reflect on our relationship with God and with others. And this morning I'd like to just do a short devotional on peace. And one of the readings I found is entitled, Tread the Path of Peace. And Isaiah writes, in Isaiah chapter 52, verse 7, he writes, How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. We are called to be at peace with everybody. We are called to be peacemakers. Yet, peace is one of the most elusive dreams of men today. We all strive for peace, yet we cannot even live in relative peace with those around us, those closest to us, let alone strangers. Yet, as I mentioned, each of us is called to be a peacemaker. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 15, Paul writes to the Ephesians, And with your feet, fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. So we are called to stand up, to be prepared in our shoes, with the readiness to announce the good news of peace. But here's the question. How does one make peace? It is done in humility. It means that God is the important one not you. When you strive for peace with your neighbor, regardless of who he is. We another way to strive for peace and make peace is when you speak the truth and don't adjust God's message of peace to suit a world that does not believe. Another way to strive for peace is to make sure that you listen before speaking and then speak truthfully. Also, when you immerse yourself in the Word, that is, in the Scriptures, so that you know that what you are talking about. When you pray without ceasing, we are called to pray for wisdom, grace and power, to bring the message of peace fearlessly. Also, when you know the price of peace, that is, you have to take up your cross every day and follow Christ if you want to be a peacemaker. If you start with yourself, your own environment, your own town, and your own home, when you turn the other cheek and get off your high horse, and this is something that we all struggle with, it's always about me. If you look at an argument or a fight, it's always about me. Look how the other person has offended me, instead of looking at what is happening in the life of the other person. If you strive for peace and work for peace, you're doing what God does. He makes peace with us. He has made peace with us through the death of Jesus on the cross. He has reconciled the world to himself. So Lord, I confess, I'm not much of a peacemaker. Please give me wisdom to know when to make peace and when to let it go. Give me the peace that surpasses all understanding. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my prayer is that may we find peace with each other, may we live in peace, may we have a blessed and peaceful day, and as for me, I'm going to go outside and build myself a mountain bike track on in the churchyard so I can go do a bit of mountain biking. Lots of love and blessings. Cheers.